Do you have issues prioritizing your tasks or projects and you don't know what to start with? Do you have time for a coffee? Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy entrepreneurs and managers be more productive and get back in control of their own time. Not every task or project have the same effort nor impact to complete. And when I talk about efforts, it can be time related or project complexity or money or investment, etc. For the same level of effort that you put in two projects, one can have higher return on investment, higher impact. On the other hand, for two similar results on two different projects, maybe one of them got you there with a lower effort. And the other one got you the same result, but with higher effort, time invested or money. That's why I always use the impact effort matrix, like all the time. But let me show you. You have basically the effort horizontally and the impact vertically. That gives you four quadrants. Quadrants, quadrants. Yeah, that's a hard word to say. You have the high impact, low effort, high impact, high effort, low impact, low effort, and low impact, high effort. And it's so easy to use. You can position all your tasks or projects on that matrix and that helps you prioritize. All you need is a bunch of sticky notes or you can do it with a piece of paper. And that's a very pragmatic approach. You're most likely going to start with the top left quadrant, high impact with low effort. And that also allows you to discard all the ones that have low impact with high effort. Et voilà. Now, let me ask you a question. What are the tasks or projects that are in your top left quadrant? High impact, low effort. Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, and don't forget to tag someone in the comment that needs to see this video. Merci, thanks guys for watching this video and I really appreciate that you coming, you checking in every single week and watch my videos. I hope I'm bringing you value. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel and watch more videos. See you next week. Au revoir.